Hey everyone, it's Preston Vanderbilt from YouTube and I'm back with a video for you guys today regarding how to dictate whether an asset exhibiting signs of being overbought or oversold. Having the ability to determine whether an asset is overbought or oversold is a great way to better profit with binary options by taking better investment opportunities. When an asset is exhibiting signs of being oversold, more likely than not the targeted asset will conduct a reversal meaning that the extreme bearish trend should slow down and eventually reverse and head back in the upward direction. This is an example of a reversal and reversals play a very large role in every price action trading strategy. Another example of a reversal would be when our asset is exhibiting signs of being overbought, meaning the price is higher than what it should be and more likely than not it will slow down and head back downward in a bearish movement. Now when it comes to determining whether an asset is being oversold or overbought, we will more than likely be using one of the two technical indicators. The first technical indicator that we could use would be the stochastic oscillator indicator, while the other one is our RSI indicator, otherwise known as the relative strength index indicator. Both of these technical trading indicators do a great job showing the current conditions of our targeted assets. The main function of the stochastic oscillator indicator is to help traders identify if the asset is displaying an extreme or not. An extreme in this case would be a overbought or oversold condition. So the stochastic oscillator helps us identify these conditions and let us know whether or not a, a reversal will be more than likely occurring soon. This is the whole basis and thought process behind most reversal training strategies and I'll, we'll be covering one later this week to help you guys out after this video. When our asset's price action is at or over the 80.00 level, then our asset is currently exhibiting signs of being overbought. However, if our asset is, however, if our asset's price action is at or below or 20.00 level, our asset is currently exhibiting signs of being oversold. Coincidentally, our RSI indicator is a banded type of oscillator as well, so it works the same way and has the same function as the stochastic oscillator. Now the thing that all oscillating indicators have in common would be the fact that they oscillate between two values. Oftentimes these values range from negative 20 to 100, but more commonly you will see 0.00 to 100.00 levels. When using our RSI indicator to determine whether our asset is being overbought or oversold, we look at the value, the value that our RSI indicator is reflecting. If the value of our RSI indicator is at or above the 70 level, then our asset is currently showing signs of being overbought. However, if our RSI indicator is at or below the value of 30, then it's currently showing an extreme of being oversold. To determine whether a target asset is exhibiting an extreme or not is simple and can be done by applying either one of the two stochastic oscillator or the RSI indicator. Moving forward, when applying these concepts to a trading strategy, I prefer to use currency pairs. Um, when using this, this kind of basis for a reversal and trading strategy, it is important that you use a manageable time frame as well. I would recommend a 5 to 15 minute time frame as well. Um, if you guys want to use the strategy that I currently use when using either one of these two technical indicators, please feel free to send me an email. I'll be posting one later this week. I just need to tweak a few things and that's what I'm going to be including in the video as well. Um, but this is a currency pair only related binary option trading strategy and if you would like it early then you can just hit me up with an email and I will send it to you. Um, now usually I harp on using low vitality currency pairs but since this is a trading strategy but since this is a trading strategy that deals with extremes meaning the overbought or oversold conditions and that we're looking for reversals we could use basically any type of currency pair even the USD and the yen. Anyway guys, that about wraps it up and if you have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to ask. You can always get a hold of me at PrestonVanderbilt at gmail.com. You can always contact me through YouTube as well, whether it be a comment or a message. It doesn't matter to me. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come.